welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Merry Christmas, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Let me know what kind of plans you had over Christmas, whether you saw family or friends or however you celebrated it. This year, we spent Christmas with the whole family. It was so nice. So I am so grateful for having that time with my family. And as always, I am back every year doing the What I Got For Christmas. It's my annual tradition and I feel like I've kept it up for so many years. It's kind of a shame to like stop doing it now. Basically, every single year I come on this channel to show you guys what things I got for Christmas. Obviously I am very grateful for everything that I received this year from everyone and honestly I just love doing these videos because I get to show my appreciation to my family and friends. And also it lets you guys be a little bit nosy. We can kind of like trade what we got for Christmas so comment down below what you guys got as well. It's also so nice to look back on Christmases from past years and see exactly what I got because sometimes you do forget. But anyways I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and without further ado let's get into the the video. Okay, so this year I think I'm gonna start off with what my fiance Matt got me for Christmas. I kind of knew a few of the things because they were on my wish list on Amazon and things like that, but honestly when I opened them I didn't really mind knowing what it was because I've wanted these things for ages. So for me, I feel like this year has been a year of just wanting so many books, so... He delivered. The first two books that he got me are actually two Japanese language learning books, which I really, really wanted for ages. I'm pretty sure he got both of these on Amazon and I cannot wait to start learning Japanese properly from an actual book. I've been learning hiragana and katakana on apps for a while and I just feel like I wasn't really getting to the place I wanna be. So I feel like books are definitely gonna be a lot more helpful. So the two books he got me are the Rapidly Learning Japanese Speech in Seven Days or Less. I mean, if that's true, I'm gonna be so happy. And then the other one is a Japanese visual dictionary, which I feel like is going to be so cool because I learn very well by looking at pictures and then associating the word with it. So I definitely can't wait to start learning Japanese properly and taking my speech to the next level. Now the next book that Matt got me is the Paradise Kiss manga. This is like the ultimate edition. This is the 20 year anniversary edition. I'm sure many of you guys already know that I'm a huge fan of Ayazawa. Obviously I love Nana as well as Paradise Kiss. So this is a dream come true. I feel like my internal 12 year old is screaming right now because that's when I found Paradise Kiss so I cannot wait to read the manga. I mean look how chunky this book is. It is so thick. And then the last book that Matt got me isn't actually a book. It's a notebook and it's got Nana and Ren on it. It's so cute. I really wanted a plain notebook that I could practice writing the Japanese alphabets in so this one is perfect because it's literally just plain and lined. And how cute is it? It's got Nana and Ren on it. Couple goals. Moving on, the next couple of things that Matt got me are smellies. So first up we have a nice smelling candle. This is from Woodwick, which is honestly my favorite candle brand ever. It smells divine. This smells like at the beach. That's literally what it's called and honestly, it smells delicious. I don't know what it is. I absolutely love the wicks on Woodwick candles. They crackle, which is honestly such an amazing experience. So yeah, super grateful for this candle. Cannot wait to burn it. He also got me a diffuser from this slightly unknown brand. This is from a brand called Aqua di Bulgari, and I'm pretty sure they're an Italian brand. Basically, our neighbor went to Italy or France maybe, and they had this diffuser in the hotel. They fell in love, and they showed it to us when we went in their house, and honestly, the house smell absolutely divine. So they recommended this to us and I was like, I, I need that on my Christmas wish list. So Matt very kindly got it for me. I think he got this from Etsy. I'm pretty sure that's where you can get it from in the UK. And then the last smelly item he got me is actually a perfume. Now this is another one that I've been wanting for ages. It's from Escada and it's the Cherry in Japan limited edition. Can you tell I'm literally obsessed with Japan. I want to go back there so much. So this is like the next best thing. Everything Japanese. Let me open up this perfume so you guys can see the bottle. It smells so nice and sweet. This is what the bottle looks like. It keeps wanting to focus on the snowman. <laughs> This is what the bottle looks like and it is honestly the loveliest perfume ever. It just smells so fresh and so sweet and very much like cherries, so I'm obsessed. Now moving on to the next item, the main present from Matt this year was a massage gun. Now he actually got me a massage gun last year as well, but it ended up breaking. I honestly don't know what happened to it, but it just wouldn't turn on. So he really kindly got me another one this year and this one's a lot better actually because it's really compact so you can travel with it. And this is what it looks like. 
so I am super grateful for that. I've already been using it and I've been using it on him as well, so it's a really handy gift. Especially if you get back pain. I feel like my posture is so bad. I always get like really tense muscles along my spine, so that is a godsend. The next present Matt got me is a board game. This was also on my wish list and all the cards are falling out. <laughs> this was on my Amazon wish list and honestly, I cannot wait to play this at New Year's Eve with everyone. And the last couple of bits that I got from Matt are kind of like foodie items. So first up, he got me this set of Moo Free selection box. It's basically like vegan Christmassy chocolates. And you best believe I already had one for my breakfast on Christmas day. I mean, if you're not having chocolate on Christmas morning, what are you doing? He then got me some more vegan chocolates. These are actually from the co-op own brand and honestly they're like the best chocolate that's vegan that I've ever tried. If you guys haven't tried these, give them a shot because they're only like a pound so honestly best chocolate ever, I guarantee you. Also in my stocking, he put these two items in. So the first item is a yuzu mochi, which is a lemon mochi. These are actually vegan surprisingly, so I was really, really happy to try them. And then he also got me a sakura black tea. These are Japanese cherry blossom tea bags, which I am so excited to try. I've never had Japanese tea before. And the last present Matt got me is in this huge box, which is filled with vegan crisps. These are all sorts of like healthy snacks from a brand called Nudie and honestly, these are delicious. We've got quinoa chips, we've got cauliflower chips. I'm obsessed with cauliflower, so I'm gonna be literally eating my body weight in these. So that was everything that I got from Matt. I'm so grateful for everything that he got me. Like he knows me so well and I'm obsessed with everything. Now moving on to gifts that I received from my mum and dad. So the first item I have is this amazing puffer coat. It's so funny because they know me so well as well. I literally saw this woman walking her dog on our like little estate and she was wearing a coat so similar. And I said to Matt, oh my God, like where did she find that coat? It's so cute. And then I never told my parents that, but they literally got me a very similar coat. So it's almost like they're telepathic. Anyways, this is from a brand called Brave Soul, which is a really nice brand. And yeah, I really love how warm this is. I've already worn this on a walk and it's the coziest coat ever. I also received a couple of different smellies from my parents because I mean, it's it's just what my mum does best. Like she loves perfumes and she loves gifting perfumes. So I am not mad about it. I mentioned to my mum the other day that I really like the Paco Rabanne Olympia perfume and I recently finished it and had to like bin the bottle. So she got me a new one and honestly it was like such a throwaway comment. I didn't even think she would get it for me, but this is the Paco Rabanne Blossom Edition. This is what the bottle looks like. If you guys haven't smelled this perfume before, go to a store and smell it because it is such a nice scent. It smells very floral, it smells very sweet and very fresh and I love those kinds of perfumes. The next present I got from my parents are another two perfumes, but honestly, I love perfumes so much that I was so excited to open these. You guys may not know what these are because they are no longer on the market, which I'm so sad about, but these are the Gwen Stefani Harajuku perfumes absolutely iconic, don't tell me otherwise. I used to collect these when I was younger. I was probably like 15 and I had so many of these. They were like my iconic scent. So my mom found these on eBay and they were selling them like secondhand, but they were sealed. So they are not expired or anything. I'm sorry, but have you ever seen a cuter perfume bottle? Because I don't think I have. So the two little girlies that they got me are the music and baby. Both of these scents remind me of my childhood so much. So I am so excited to wear them again. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember these perfumes because honestly, I was obsessed. And the last smelly kind of thing that they got me is a candle. This is from the brand called Wickford & Co. And this is the white chocolate candle. It smells so yummy. It literally smells like white chocolate. So I'm so grateful for that. Now my parents know that I love Vivian Westwood and always have since I was like a teen. So they actually got me a Vivian Westwood necklace, which I'm so happy about because they actually match my earrings that I got from Matt last year. Let me show you guys up close. Look how adorable that necklace is. So yeah, really grateful for that. I'm gonna be wearing this from now on in every single video. And lastly, from my parents, I also received a couple of like joint presents for me and Matt. So the first joint present they got us is a Wagamama gift card because they know how much we love Wagamama. They also got us a Brita filter, which is something I've been wanting for ages, but just never got around to buying one for myself. So super grateful for that because I hate the taste of tap water. So if I can fill 
water it and have a nicer tasting water. I'm gonna take it. And the last present that we got from my parents, honestly, they went kind of crazy this year. I told them not to get us so many things and I always do that, but they just go crazy. It is this hex clad pan. If you guys watched my recent video, I tested out this from an Instagram ad and honestly, I really, really liked it. So they decided to get us another one, but in a slightly different size. So now we kind of have like a set of two. I appreciate this gift so much because as an adult, you get excited about like random house things. And we've been needing a new frying pan for the longest time because our one, like the coating has started to come off, which is not good. So yeah, super grateful to receive this from my parents. Now the next gifts I received are from Matt's mom and also his little brother. And it is two books, which I specifically asked for. Once again, it is more books. And yes, it's to learn Japanese because I really, really want to learn it. So the first one is this really cute way to learn hiragana. And then the second one is to learn katakana, which I'm really struggling with. Like the hiragana, I've got that down almost, but the katakana is so difficult for some reason. If any of you guys are also learning Japanese, let me know what kind of level you're at and whether you're finding it difficult because I feel like these apps, they're good, but I need to actually physically write things down. With this one, there's a lot of reading to do, but it also has a page every now and again where you can practice your writing skills. I am definitely gonna benefit from that because I feel like I really need practice at writing the symbols. So yeah, super grateful for both of these and how cute are the front covers? Honestly, I love them. Now from Matt's dad, I got some sweeties. He knows me well. So I got some caramelized biscuit truffles, which are actually vegan. And then he also got me this handcrafted butterscotch vegan popcorn. You already know, these are gonna be gone by tomorrow, just saying. And lastly from Matt's grandparents, they got us some chocolates, which we already ate. And then they also got us a little gift card for all these different stores, which we're so grateful for because we can choose whatever. So yeah, those are all the gifts that I received for Christmas this year. I am so grateful for every single thing that I received. As always, I just wanna say Christmas isn't about gifts to me. For me, it's about making people happy. I love giving gifts rather than receiving them. I just love seeing people's reaction when they're opening their gifts from me and just seeing the happiness on their face. So honestly, that just makes my Christmas. But with that being said, I am super grateful for everything that I got. So thank you everyone. Once again, I really hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and I'm wishing you guys a happy new year already. I have a really exciting video coming as my next upload, so stay tuned. It's actually a giveaway. It's quite a special one. Let me know in the comments if you guys celebrate Christmas slash what you did for Christmas. And if any of you guys wanna share what you guys got for Christmas, let me know because I love being nosy. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I hope you're all healthy and happy and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!